back. It is Sunday, and uh, what can I say? Here to upload some cool little licks, hopefully some new material, some new new ideas to keep you guys inspired, keep you guys playing. As you can see what I'm doing here, just very simply, I figured it would be beneficial and useful for us just to examine some very simple um, basic concepts using the pentatonic major scales um, just played over an E chord super basic but yet you know if approached the right way there's just tons of beauty and inspiration and uh, uh, you know melodic value to be found within it so uh, something as simple as playing just over a basic E chord simple as that so you can either approach it from, you know, a pentatonic minor, which would give it a more edgy feel, wouldn't it? it would... just naturally default to that sort of style but of course there's this very different approach this different angle to it using the pentatonic major scale which coaxes a, a different set of emotions a different uh, feeling out of it same simple chord right <laughs> sort of build that scale for you guys and either some of you are very advanced and some of you are beginner and I think this could have value for for everyone out there so let's let's break down the scale beginning on the seventh and ninth on the low E string you've got and then true for the A string and then nine slides up to eleven and of course those notes in between nine and eleven on the A string you can use chromatically Seven, nine. And now from 9 to 11, right? now people have the habit, and um, one thing that I'm not a big fan of is interpreting the uh, pentatonic major as, as the same as playing in the pentatonic minor, but moving down three frets. It, I don't advocate for that or viewing it or interpreting it that way because it's different. Because it's not like you're just playing now in C sharp uh, with uh, approaching with the, the same mentality you would for a pentatonic minor scale. It shares commonalities in terms of, you know, this being a pentatonic minor in E. Right? And this being pentatonic major in E. Of course, it shares the commonalities, but that's all it is. They're just notes that happen to be in common. They're still the same key. When you're playing here, you're still playing in the key of E, and it should not be, never be interpreted as, as, as being uh, playing in C-sharp because it's just it's a different mindset. It's a different mentality. So anyway, we've got... So, of course, uh, by doing this, right, and doing this, it's just an octave, right? And the same true for the B and the E string on the 12 and 14. Look at 
some cool licks. We can do um, hammering on 12, uh, 9 to 11 on the D, and the same on the G, and then right into this bend. Uh, pinky barred across the 12th fret on the B and the E, and then the ring finger, whole step bend on the 11th. Again, it's just three octaves of the same note. Right, that bend. Same note, same bend. We're just connecting it all together, aren't we? So, um, 12, 14 on the E, 12, 14 on the B, and then... So then it's 13, 12, 11 on the G, back to the 9th on the 11th. And again, all I'm doing is repeating octaves, right? I'm just building and layering octaves um, to create a full, uh, uh, a wide sort of scope um, to, to maximize the most out of what's possible using that scale in that particular position. So again, up some new doors in terms of ways of interpreting um, just as something as basic as an open E chord, standard E chord, and different ways of approaching that and finding inspiration from just a simple basic chord. Okay, these videos always tend to run on so long because I, I talk so much. Um, so I'm going to cut this off and just uh, shout out to everybody, all the um, subscribers, all the new subscribers, welcome aboard. Again, you guys are all invited and encouraged to reach out to me directly. If you're interested in uh, private videos, separate, individual, unique videos, cater to whatever it is you'd like to see, um, direct Skype lessons one-on-one, -on -one, which is super fun and always beneficial. Um, so that's all, guys. Keep practicing, keep rocking, stay inspired, keep practicing, and we'll see you again next weekend, all right? Cheers.